Welcome back to Roommate Rivalry. We are now going to be getting into the college football weekend as well as the NFL. And the college weekend couldn't have been more exciting. The amount of ranked teams playing ranked teams was absolutely great. Um... Uh, I don't know how I don't know how exactly to start this off. I guess we could just kind of maybe pick one game. Start with, let's start with the team, the highest ranked team that lost. Okay. Auburn. Mm-hmm. Aub- Auburn drops to Texas A&M. Probably, you know, I would say the the big surprise of of the weekend. They lose forty one to thirty eight. Um, yeah, especially that Texas. To me, this is the this is the biggest um, effect I think it has. It makes Mississippi State and Ole Miss look that much better because they both beat Texas A&M pretty, pretty easily. So are Alabama. Yeah, Alabama too. Oh, and Al- and Alabama. Yeah, yeah. that's that's maybe it was, maybe it was just Alabama and Mississippi. State. I can't. I think or maybe all three of them. But but to me, it, it makes those teams look that much better. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> didn't uh, what's his face? Um, Kenny, Kenny, what's the quarterback's name? Kenny Hill. He didn't play, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So the freshman played. Yeah, so that's his spot. That you, I I actually didn't watch like the whole game, but I saw some of it. But it looked like he was taking control of it, like he was audibleing on the line and stuff. So I mean, maybe that had a difference in the game. I'm just, I'm just looking at like you gotta kind of almost feel bad for Texas A&M. Like if you look at their schedule, they played Mississippi State, Ole Miss, and Alabama like consecutively. No. To be the best, you gotta beat the best. No, yeah, I'm just saying like that. That that sucks. Well, all, Ole Miss and all of them have hard schedules. Oh no 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 no! Listen listen. I know that. I'm just saying like the fact that they had to play them like three straight like that really. Who the heck did Mississippi State play? <coughs> UT Martin. You... They're nice. They're fun. No, what six. they did, they they just scrapped together a couple fans and scrimmaged. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty pretty much what happened there. Um yeah, I mean that's really surprising. I mean this is the question though is would you say Auburn's done? Yeah, I think so. And do you, do you, would you would you eliminate Auburn at this point from being in the top four? Yeah. Wait, you're uh, talking about for this week coming up? Like, are they oh, out of the top oh, no, four? No, 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 They're no. definitely I, out of the top oh, four. Oh, that's obvious. Yeah, I'm out, talking about out other than entirely. S- do you think they can get back in? No, no not a chance. Yeah, I, I don't I think I, there's a chance. No, I they're going to beat gonna Sanford, happen. then they're going to lose to Alabama last week. Yeah, I, I don't think they have a chance, to be honest because I don't know. I mean, or, Oregon. Oregon's gonna be in the. They're, top pro- they're, they're probably not. They just beat Utah. You know, yeah, I'm just saying. They, I don't know. Like, I mean, yeah, they have they're. A tough schedule. You know, I don't know how tough Oregon's road's gonna be. Like FSU's Stanford. probably gonna finish undefeated. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they're not even playing anyone right. Yeah, Mississippi, there. Mississippi State still has two tough games, but yeah. if, it could change though. But but yeah. Mississippi State losing to Alabama and Ole Miss is better than them who lost to Texas A&M. Yeah, yeah true. Hundred percent. And that, that's where I think. Yeah, the but see now, what if Mississippi State loses both those games and and uh, and Auburn wins out the rest of the day? Well, the thing is, that would be impressive because Auburn, if I'm not mistaken, still has to play Bama. So if Auburn can beat Bama and Georgia, and Georgia, and then yeah. then then it does change. Yeah, that's what With I'm saying. Curly, but possibly. but the thing is, also depends because realistically, say all these SEC teams start beating each other. TCU, FSU, and Oregon realistically Oregon, yeah. could all get three spots, and then you only get one SEC team in there. That'd be yeah. crazy. So it's st- I think it's going to be really, really tough for these SEC teams actually because they're all great. If it was an eight-team playoff, that would be that's something that I think they should kind of work on. To be honest, yeah, no, I, I was they, telling that too. But um, they will get eventually. But um, I'm just saying, if it was eighteen playoff, would be different. But with only four teams, it's going to be hard for the SEC to get probably as many as they deserve. Yeah. Um, I guess the the second game we could we could recap um, was probably a, a game that I'm gonna have to give Ant credit in a way because I kind of always bagged on TCU, and and they did show a lot, they did show a lot. They um, destroyed Kansas State. They destroyed Kansas State, but to me, I it think wasn't even close. It did it did sh- um, kind of like it, it made me realize something though that like Baylor lost a lot of credit, and I don't think that was really fair. They lost to to YVU, which uh, I understand is under like you know that was bad. But the West Virginia. West Virginia. Oh, you said Y. That's what. Like. That's oh, I meant W. My apologies. Yeah, my apologies. They lost. Yeah, so they lose to West Virginia, but Baylor still has has you know won outright. They haven't played the the meat of their schedule with uh, Oklahoma State as well as um, Kansas State. But you saw what they just did to Oklahoma, and if you remember, o- Baylor did beat TCU. So honestly. 
I think Baylor is still better than TCU, and if Baylor wins out, they should surpass TCU because they beat them. I mean, to me, right now TCU deserves it because they've played all those teams and they've you know and they've beaten them. But if Baylor goes ahead and, and wins out and beats the same teams, well, yeah. they beat TCU. Yeah. So I don't, I think that should really play more of a factor into it than the fact that TCU beat West Virginia and you know Baylor did not. Yeah. And West Virginia did lose to an unranked Texas this week. No, well, I mean there you go. That's what happens. And they were ranked. I didn't know they were ranked. Um, I mean, we could touch we could touch on it well, as much as I want to avoid the Notre Dame game. Oh, we're touching on it. <sighs> All right, go ahead, Ann. What do you want to uh, say? They, so. they were terrible versus a team. Honestly, that was like the team in the top ten I didn't even know about. Like, I didn't watch Arizona them State's this. so good. I didn't watch them at all this yeah, year. Are, yeah, yeah. That's Arizona why I'm so State surprised when they were so ahead good. of them in the polls. I didn't know them. Like, I wasn't paying attention to them at all. Like, and their defense just was like, they were all over the place. They were ta- sacking people, getting interceptions the whole game. They were down the whole game, but didn't they come back and bring it close? And then they were within a field, but then they got blown out by 20 Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, th- I think after that, there was what, a pick six by, or they, something they like down that. down my field, and then they threw another pick six. Yeah, I mean. I don't even think it was his fault, though. They didn't hit off the receiver's hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. I mean, sometimes it's, it just doesn't go your way, but they were getting blown out. You can't give – you have to give credit to Arizona State. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't but, all Everett's fault. He still threw for like 440 – it was 446 yards. I mean, he, he had a great game, but, <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes you need people to help you, and he didn't really have that support. Yeah, I mean, like opinion. the defense, <laughs> what up, what was it? No, no. What? They're <laughs> – their first like twenty four points, they they weren't like in their own fifty, like they were all like because all of turnovers fun, yeah, yeah. and like pick sixes. Well, that, that's why he could throw so many yards. Like Arizona State's like offensive possessions weren't long at all. They're always like oh long no no, plays no but they're like at the twenty yard line. No, but what I'm saying is like ever ever yeah, still did well. I'm just what I'm saying is you have thirty four points at half is not you're not gonna win. It doesn't matter. But no, but what I'm telling you is like points. honestly, those points fall more on the offense. That fact that they were given up, and that's the sad part. Like the offense. Lost. Arizona State's offense did look good, though. I'm not lying. No, no, no. no but, but like, yo, but how do like, you? The defense out there to stop them. You can't like. But, but what? You, how many you times? Can't. How many times are you gonna stop a top ten team inside the twenty? That, that happened multiple times. They're inside the twenty. Two pick sixes. That's fourteen of them right there. Take the fourteen. Take the fourteen points away. Look at the score then. Yeah, but that's that's not what happened. That's part of the game. I don't know what your no, point but, is. No, but no, but no. My uh, just, no, my, my point. My point defense, is, right? it's not the defense's yeah. fault. The defense. Well, no, well, the defense, you know. I mean, it's not their fault. I mean, the offense is setting up. 21 points in the fourth quarter? Come on. One of them was, was a pick. The offense, set. it was a you pick. I don't understand yeah. how right, big. So it's 14 points. With, like, you have to, but Pete, this is my thing. Look, I, I'm just saying, like. Well, but, like, like they're, out there, they're yeah. out there to Pete, stop them. Like, yeah, but if you look. So it doesn't if matter you, if they're on the 80 yard line, the, two, the second. Yeah, it does, though. It does, so though. It does make a difference. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the time. You're not going to stop a team all the time in the 20. No matter what they're going to score, if they don't get touched on They're a terrible team. It's different, but you're playing a top ranked team. You can't put a, the number nine team in the nation. I don't care who the number nine team in the nation is. You can't put the number nine team in the nation on the 20 yard line. Yeah, but yeah, they have the, bro, they're bro, the number Arizona's, 10 team. They're the number 10 State's team. The quarterback had three touchdowns and the running back two. What do you, I don't know what your point is. The offense did great. No, he's Who's not. Who's offense? But Nor- Arizona State. He's Nor- not State saying that. He's on the 20 yard line. But North Dame yeah. is the number 10 team. It's not like they're, they're a bunch of scrubs because they're not. So yeah, but okay, the but okay. Has to stop yeah, but I, I would say that the around. offense had more of a bad game than the defense. Yeah, I guess you could say that. So, that, so that's it then, because they're going to try to. Look, obviously the, be, the defense at half is not good at all. Obviously the defense gave up points because the, the Arizona's offense can only score on the defense of Notre Dame, but the Notre Dame's offense was not doing anything and was giving Arizona State the ball an easy like. Great field, you know what I'm saying? Like if they had, yeah, but you could. If they had worse field. Like it's, it's field been, it happened game. before. Like but, okay, but can I okay, like, listen to this? What? Their first drive, 45 yards, and they get a field goal, so they hold them. The next one, one play, it was thir- 13 yards. They're on the 13 yard line. The next drive, 23 yards. In, uh, 23 yards. Keep going, Walsh. That's I, the whole. I'm watching the, okay? the same thing. Pick six. Then, then it's a pick six, okay? Then they have a 64-yard drive, and then they hold them again to a field goal. They have a, then they have a 75-yard drive. That was like the last drive of the game, wasn't it? Who? That was the last drive of the game. He's talking about the first half. Oh. The game was over pretty much at the first half. You can't yeah. be down yeah. 34 to 10 at the first half. Yeah, so what did they get? They got like 
That's what I'm saying. Well, they put together six points they put, from. A, they a put later together. On. That's what I'm saying. One, you can't be down 34 okay, and a half. And but what I'm telling you, it's not the, the defense's fault. The defense, the defense held them to. They had their backs on the wall. They held, bro, they held them saying, to yeah. 13. They put as far as drives go. They put together a drive that to start the game got a field goal. Another drive, a good drive, got themselves a touchdown, and another one that got themselves a field goal. That's great. That's great. Arizona State is a, is a good offensive team. That's great. But they, but, yeah, bro, but even, they, though they, even though, like, you claim they start at the 20 yard, they still get 412 yards, that defense. Because, um, you, bro, it comes down to points. I don't care how many yards you give up. When a team yeah, starts... So d- defense gave up a lot. Bro, but, like, stop them. I don't know, like, it's just what how? they're there to you... do. Like, you're going to tell me that just because every team that turned over inside the 20, it's automatic, like... It was a pick six Automatic and like three downs? turnovers in in the t- like. First of all, on one, their one head. I'm not, I'm not disc- discrediting the the pick sixes or whatever because that's that's pick six. Like you know you can do but, about it. I had one last week. But that's yeah. part of it though. But like, it doesn't matter. Like 34. And a half. Okay, ready? This is what I. Alabama. What? What? Their defense. Start, it starts on the 20 yard line with that end zone to their back. They stop them. How many times? They're probably holding to a field goal at least. How many times, at least more times than they let up touchdowns? No. No. They're, you they're, can't. They're, they're, I said they have a better chance of holding to a field goal. Of course than they game. have a better chance. Of course they have a better chance. But you, you can't. Look, this game, if you watch the game, if you watch the game, like I'm saying, there's, a, there's a difference between a, a box score and, a, and watching the game. It was all, it all oh. fell on the offense. It all fell on the offense. I was saying... Yeah, what they all found Th- offense, but the 30, defense has a part. I mean, putting over 34 points at half, you're not going to win the game. They don't have a part, Wolves. Bro, uh, okay. Shake your head when I said that. It's hard because to they, they, It's not their game. fault. It's like maybe 3% the defense's fault. At most. 3%. Yeah, that, that, that's right, that's, a little, that's stretching a little bit. I don't let's, let's move on. Uh, I mean, that's how I feel. Let's, uh, go, to, let's go to Alabama. Uh, yeah, Alabama played a real, real close game. They almost lost that one. I was, I mean, I, I thought LSU was actually going to win it, but I thought they were, gonna, I thought they were going to win too. But um, I mean, you know, you kind of saw Alabama's uh, championship prowess, I think there. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, that to me was just kind of what it showed. It showed that Alabama's. Winners. I mean, it also showed that LSU is still fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, they're yeah. still putting up a fight. Who is it? If TJ Yeldon, I think it was, holds on to that ball, right? Mm-hmm. Did he fumble? Have a costly fumble in that? Yeah, it was at it was at their fifteen yard line. Uh, with like a minute left, or yeah. so, or Ohio, minute, minute thirty something like that. Ohio State beat Michigan. Michigan State. Wait, wait, wait. Michigan what, State what finally the, did show the true. What, what happened? Wait, they didn't score, right? Who? When TJ yelled and fumbled the ball. Oh yeah. Alice, you scored. No. Uh, like what? What was what was the outcome of that? No. <laughs> Aren't you the Alabama fan? Aren't you watching the game? Yeah, but I think I was watching Lone Survivor, to be honest. <laughs> no, you weren't. Because me and Tom were watching the Alabama game. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. Mm. Uh, Come on, someone say something. <laughs> Look, I'm just... I, I, I can just... I already said I feel like it just it showed where Alabama is. I mean, to me, uh, you know, I think I think now this is this is... This is how I look at it. You have... Oregon, who's in a really good position to make it. FSU is in a great position to make it. And to me, those are the two teams that if I had a, you know, if I had a bet on to make FSU, it, yeah. that's okay. who I would take. Cause, FSU, cause, definitely. They're not even playing a ranked team. No. Like, but, like, um, to, I mean, to me, I guess I guess what we could probably end this college football segment on is maybe what might be the game of the year, Alabama at Mississippi State. Yeah, that's where we're going. Prediction-wise, who do you guys like? Bama. Uh, I know Petey. Oh, Bama, no doubt. I have confidence in Mississippi State. I think they can do it, but I feel like Alabama's just gonna pull out with the win. Uh, Wait, where are they playing? Tuscaloosa. Yeah, Alabama. Yeah, I, I mean, I like Bama. I'm just, they I'm gonna be curious to like, see like if Alabama's tough game against LSU helps them, or if it kind of like, like if they're gonna, if they might be like maybe a little bit tired, and the fact that Mississippi State's kind of had easier games might might make it a little bit easier for them. But we're, I think we'll definitely see. I'm very excited for that game. Yeah. But let's let's move right along into the NFL. There were um. No preview. <coughs> oh, you got a preview next oh, week. Oh, right, the preview. My apologies, Ant. Let's right. get the preview. Right. <laughs> All right, Ant. Yes, the pre the previews. 
preview. We have Indiana versus Rutgers. The Rutgers need a win. Over the last three game uh, losing streak, they've been outscored 135 to 41. That's horrible. That was bad. <laughs> can, you, can you stop putting him in? That's real bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to represent New Jersey. <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> I'm not a front runner. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, number, oh, number 16, LSU versus Arkansas. I always like, like I'm intrigued when Arkansas plays because no, yeah, they always play, play like up to their team's competition. And, uh, and they lost to uh, Mississippi State by seven. Um, number three, Auburn versus number 20, Georgia. Big game for Auburn. They're 7-2 and, two That's a big and game. three losses. And SEC will definitely get them out of that poll. I think Gurley's going to get them out of that game. Um, and in Tuscaloosa, we got the game of the year as of right now. Number one, Mississippi State versus number five, Alabama. It's going to be great. Alabama is definitely coming off a big win versus LSU. And the mother game of the week. <laughs> number two, Florida State coming into Miami. Yeah. That's the game of the week. <laughs> uh, is this your segment? <laughs> That's the game of the week. Really? You, you stick to your segment. Really? You stick to your segment. Uh, Blasphemy. <laughs> I'm not a front runner. I'm sorry. Bla- how does that, being a front runner Just go. Come on. Say it. Miami Wait, has been rolling of late. preview. Stop talking. I'll come over there. <laughs> come over here. I'm not scared. <laughs> outsco- don't, don't start. What? The outscoring opponents in this three-game win streak, 132-60. to 60, And Duke They're Johnson violent. and Brad uh, Kaya, a true freshman, has been killing it. Yeah, let's go Miami. Yeah, if it's just gonna win that game. FSU let's go Miami. Is the game of the Yo, if Miami wins this game. I didn't ask you what you're your opinion be. was. Auburn, Al- Why? Um, Why? Why? Alabama, no, 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 no. Mississippi. Who's gonna win the game, Joe? Predict before before you come in here and say you're allowed to abuse me. <laughs> I think. Who's I, gonna, I want Miami. Your prediction. I want Miami, Doesn't but I'm gonna go win. with Florida State. Okay. <laughs> so that means we're not getting abused because then I'm gonna abuse you just as bad. No, because I want Miami to win. But, so I'm, I'm, but I also want Miami to win. Oh, okay. So that's different then. Okay, who do you want to win? Florida State. And who do you think is going to win? Florida State. So that's the difference. So there you go. Okay. What? Am I yeah. wrong? No, we're not saying you're wrong. We're just... Okay, we're Why just would saying you Miami. want Florida State to win? If they lose, they have a better chance of getting out. Because I want out. Florida State to win just because I know you like exactly. Miami. Exactly, I knew that was it. <laughs> First of all, that affects then Alabama. I, I Okay. He's not you don't care about your own team. Alabama you don't care about your own team. He's not an Alabama okay. family. This I'd rather see Listen. you... I already see your team and. lose. At least I don't root for losers, though. And. Who do I root for? Mets. And. Knicks. This and. is this is really what you're this is, and. It's going down. There's a difference between a Notre Dame fan, you keep on track a U fan, man. and what he is. Yeah, because we're true fans. He's I'm not, a diehard Ranger fan. You're not a Alabama. I know you're, you're a diehard Ranger fan. And you're not even fan. a diehard that's, Dolphin that's fan. That's why you get I'm the not a diehard Dolphin fan. No, you're not. Dol- a Dolphin fan even calls you out on that. What does he know about me being a Dolphin fan? Explain. Hate on the oh, Dolphins I'll, I'll let every expo- week. I'll let him explain. Wait, hate what's on so the Dolphins every you week? You should hate on the Dolphins if they play bad. You shouldn't be like, I'm no, 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 no. great. That's what no, Knicks fans do. No, 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 no there's no, a no. difference with him. Though. No, no. How does it? No, you don't hate on your team. You don't hate You're on your team. You're upset with your team. Yeah, you're just upset. And, and I'm upset with the team. And that's what he does. He voices I'm his no, problems he with Ryan. He hates Ryan. And then he loved them. He loved them. Okay, wait. That doesn't mean you stick with you. You stick with your player. You stick with your player. Oh wait, if you were a Jets fan, would you stick with Mark Sanchez? And don't you dare say yes, because then you're lying. Why would I stick with Mark Sanchez? I know. If you were a Jet fan, okay. would you stood by Mark he Sanchez? He was really bad, though. Yeah, but Ryan Tannehill's never been that bad. Yeah, but but in Petey's eyes, he w- he was he was the problem. No, but he hates him, and then he then he likes. He's allowed him. to. Then he hates him, him and he likes him. He's allowed to. No, no, no. Hates him and likes him. That's not. Why that's can't not I be, do that? You have I don't to, understand. You have no, to stick. He's not playing. I signed the best because he's not playing. team contract that was not in it. What? When I signed my favorite team contract, that was not in it. You don't that have to. You don't have to every week praise someone or every week. No, you don't praise anyone. When you got to root for your team, he does root for them. Mm. I do. I don't know about that. He doesn't sit there and hope Ryan Tannehill throws picks. This kid roots for the, the he, Cowboys he, every week. That's because I, I like he, the underdog team. They're not underdogs. They were underdogs at the full season season. Were they not? They were. He he roots for them because he got. Uh, what did Skip Bale say? Out, what did Skip Bale say they were gonna go? Ten and six. He roots for them simply because of that. Because he goes, Skip Bale is always right. They're gonna finish ten and six. That is hundred percent the reason why he cheers for the Cowboys. Everyone called year. me out on it. Now it's looking like they're gonna finish ten and six. That is the whole point. Your prediction. Okay, I can't stick by someone else's prediction. The kid's a Dolphin fan. He's not. A dolphin. Okay, is is he as big a Dolphin as Joe? Maybe not because I've not seen a dolphin. I've seen Joe look absolutely depressed. Not a Dolphin. Like on oh. the, on a day they lose. And like I, I like I have to like pick Joe up. I buy him an ice cream. Did you watch the game? You said Andrew Luck. Did you watch the game? Did you watch the game? Andrew Luck. No, no, no. See, look, see, look. He's changing the subject because he's yes, not he talking did. about the Dolphins. Yes, he did. He's not talking about the Dolphins. So what? He. Ch- 
No. I'm Dolphin. I was talking. Talk Dolphin game every week. I was every talking. Week. <laughs> Alabama, and this kid elite. brings up he's, the New York He's gonna Mets. be elite. Yeah, he's told. because I said you root for losers. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but it wasn't. So, yeah, so he's allowed to bring whatever he wants. And I, I could be sitting here telling Ant that the U's terrible. And he'd be like, yeah, well, LeBron left the heat. <laughs> 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 All right, we have to start with the NFL. All right, let's get it. Um, and Joe, basically, I'll do the quarterback and running back because it's obvious. No, go ahead. But it's pretty obvious who you got for the first two. Ryan Downhill. Now. No. No. See? Look, look, look. See? <laughs> game. Look, 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 look. His reaction to it. See? You know it. It's correct. Thank Damn. you. He didn't have a bad game, though. See, you should be saying. Yeah, Joe. No, you Why? shouldn't. Why should be true? Knicks fans do. What are you talking about? Oh, they, Knicks fans are worse. They, they pretend <laughs> that their team does well. Yeah. When it, well, no, 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 no. I'm not pretend. My team is doing good. I don't Ryan Tannehill uh, should be one of the top performers this week for quarterbacks. No, it's a joke, though. But, okay, but so then why would he sit there and say absolutely? It's a joke. But he was he's, he's a Dolphin fan. But he's so being real around and say, yeah, you know what, he is. But he's not. He is a Dolphins fan. No. Thank you. Not at all. He's a Dolphins fan. Not at all. Barely. Oh, yeah. Not at all. Maybe, a Dolphins. maybe, maybe he like likes maybe the the Dolphins one game out of the maybe like Cameron Week. <laughs> He doesn't even know who Cameron Wake is. <laughs> I knew Cameron Wake before you knew Cameron Wake. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you sure about that? Don't test me. Don't test me, little boy. Don't test me. I go, go get to your little previews. Don't test Top me. Performance. Don't test me. Andrew Lux. You don't know. You don't know the Dolphins. Andrew Lux. What? Elite. All right, let's start. Let's Joe start. said he's not elite. Court. Oh yeah. Don't, don't Andrew <laughs> Luck is gonna be. Elite. He is elite he's now. Elite now. Not elite now. He it's hasn't just, got there yet. How are you gonna say he's not elite? It doesn't even make sense what he you're talking about. Yes, it does make sense. <laughs> it's just it words leave sense. your mouth and they yes, don't make sense. sense. Yes, it does make sense. How does it make sense? How many playoff games has he won? One. One playoff game. Out of how, been how many years? Three years. That. Two years. No, this is two. Two. How many did Mark Sanders win? Exactly. You can't. You can't say someone's elite because of of what. How many playoff games or anything? It's how they. He, it's how he moves on in his career. You well, can't call, you can't call can't someone. Anymore. You can't call someone elite just over three years because. But, but no one was gonna call Sanchez elite because no one gave Sanchez no, credit. No, because look, and listen, you look listen, down from like. Mark I'll pick this up. Mark and Sanchez score it. has won Andrew, more. Play possibly Yo, can you let me talk? Can you right let now? me talk? Can you let me talk? Can you let me talk? He's not. Yes, he, he is. is. He's not elite yet. Wait, is he a top five quarterback? He could be in the top five. Yeah. He's elite. No. He's elite. No. no. It, him elite. it doesn't make <laughs> him elite. Top elite quarterbacks are Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. That's it. That's it. Uh, That's Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees? No. Aaron Listen. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, what I'm trying to say is the definition. <laughs> Listen, let me speak. The definition <laughs> of elite is Aaron Rodgers. It's elite. over a career. Aaron yeah, he's elite. Okay. But I'm saying I'm saying the two definite Drew are Brees. Uh, this, Drew Brees is elite. This yes. Four? This four. Okay. This four. Right, this four. This four. This Roethlisberger. Oh. Hmm. Say. What? What? You can't. You 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 think? You want to sit here and talk about careers and then hesitate on Ben Roethlisberger? No 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 no. <laughs> he's his first ballot. Okay, but you can. See he's a great quarterback, but I feel like to be elite, you have to do a lot of things. He's got more rings than Peyton. Okay, but Payne has broken so many records. So many records. <laughs> yes, what, yes. what does Roethlisberger resume not have for you? But, uh, okay, he's... <laughs> what does it lack? <laughs> do you see the teams that Payne Manning has? And do you see the team oh, that don't Tom Brady start, has? Don't what? Start. what do you mean don't start? Don't. Do you see him? Did he have Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne? He makes and those Dallas receivers. Clark in his prime. He, he made them. Makes those receivers. He made them. He yeah, he did not. Oh my makes silence. those receivers. Wait, you said he those made receivers. Marvin Harrison. No. Makes way. those receivers. <laughs> oh, makes them. Did no. Tom did Tom Brady make them. Randy Moss? Okay, we only had Randy Moss for like not that long though. So that's, uh, the, that's, that's the point. He's supposed to no, receiver. No, no Randy Moss was already he was already doing things before he came to the. He made Marvin Harrison. Look look okay the top performance. Look at the Patriots net. What receivers do they have? Grunk. They don't have. They have Grunk no. Okay. Is the most dominant. Even last year, what receivers? He had no one last year, and he still came out of the division. Still went to the AFC Championship because he's an elite quarterback. Andrew he's Luck an elite quarterback. did the same thing. Andrew Luck is in a division Reggie that he can sweep. Yes, that's true. So can Brady. He sweeps it every year. The Jets always do terrible. The Dolphins are. Yeah, 
fucking years when Mark Sanchez was on the team, the last when Rex Ryan came, Bro, they so put they up a fight. They need at best. Who? The Jets. No. This year. This no, year? No, 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 not talking about this year. No, Listen, when when Rex Ryan first uh, came to the team, they were not eight and eight. Oh my god. They were not just eight and eight. That's what it's hard. Nine, seven, ten, six. They, that's that's ten and six. You're making it sound bad. It's still good. But no one competes with Brady in that division because no team on the them. They did that that years, those years, those two years or whatever. Bro, I don't know. What Wait, but I right now. Andrew Luck. Is he's gonna be elite. Yes, no, he is. He's, he's, elite he's not there now. yet. He's so he's elite. Not there yet. He's done. He's, he's not done there everything yet. you could ask so for him in his so three-year career. He's, so doing, he's doing great. Back. He's doing great. It's only been three years. What more could so you have asked goes on, for him to do in his three years? As it goes on, he will elite. become elite. But, okay, answer my question. As it goes on, what could he have done in the? His well, career what he's the, gonna do no, if, if he's I, staying on the path is he's gonna win. Play what more games could he have done in the Bowl? in his two and a half year career? That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying he's not doing. I'm not saying he's doing bad. He's just not there yet. Yes, he is. He's just not there yet. He's there. No, he's, he's more, more there. than there. <laughs> he's not there yet. <laughs> he couldn't not. actually be more there. He's not there. No, he's not. Because if he if he was there, he, he would have did what Tom Brady did. He would have won three Super Bowls. I just want to—I just want to let you know, like your definition of elite, honestly, probably has Tom Brady as the only person who's ever elite. No, and, uh, it's Peyton Manning too. But I just want to know what could why? 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 I don't. He didn't have those records then, did he? What? Did he have those records then? What do you mean? Did he have those records then? I'm talking about now. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the first three years. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying for what Andrew Luck has to do in the first three years to become elite and do what Tom Brady. What I said. Is that the only player in your mind that's been elite in three years? Oh, oh in three Tom years. Brady. Oh, I thought you said. I thought you were talking about. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, in three years, Tom Brady has so been. So, elite. in your mind, only I mean, one quarterback. Tell me someone else. Who, who Andrew, else? Andrew Luck. From what? what? What did he do? Aaron, what did he do? Aaron Rodgers. What did he do? What did Andrew Luck do? He won two playoff games? Aaron Rodgers won a Super Bowl in his first year. I'm not talking about Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. Rodgers. First three years we're talking about. No, no I, I was talking about Andrew Luck, though. That guy number 12 in the Packers, he can play. Again, uh, please give the top performance. Wait, what did he do? Andrew Luck. He's been in the league two years. Been in the playoffs both times. He's been, and he, hasn't and he, he been in the league three years. No, this no, is his this third is year. Third. Uh, three years. All right, go on. Okay, he's been in the league two years, two playoff appearances. Got himself a win, a twenty-plus point comeback win against against the Chiefs. Okay, who were, who were one of the best teams that okay, so year. Keep going. And and what he's done in the regular season is on par with okay. the greats. And well, he's thrown 23. Well, I know. This season don't count. I'm just, just saying. Just okay, saying. But, 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 just saying. But, but, now, can you say the same thing for Joe Flacco? No. Oh, no. He, he went to the playoffs f- his first five years. First five years. And went to the AFC Championship, what, three times he, or two but, times out of those years? Right now, right now Andrew, Andrew Luck, so, statistically, is like the best so quarterback. Miss- Joe Flacco's never. He's so, he's good. He's Joe, gonna get there. He's not there yet. No, he's and, there. Andrew, yet. You know, might not never Andrew win a Super Bowl. Might not never win. Play, he's, Andrew he's Luck has yet. been there. But Andrew Luck's where's he been? Does he, has he been in to the, the AFC Championship? Elite class. Elite class. That's not. He's a great quarterback, but it, he still has time to grow. He still has to grow. <laughs> Andrew Luck has thrown twenty three touchdowns the first seasons. Here he has twenty six now. Okay, I'm not saying he's bad. He's got to move. You're not. You're just not getting it. Oh, he's how right, can you call right. so, so? someone does good there f- t- for two years that you're calling him elite right away. No, but he didn't. Not, so he, he didn't do what they good. He didn't do he's not good. He did great. He's doing amazing. It's okay. exceptional. It's above and beyond. It's it's the stuff that is made of elite quarterback. I thank it's my not, eyes for it's, watching. It's, it's not. We're not watching. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, wait, how you said Drew Brees is elite? He's been doing better than... I love Drew Brees, but he's been doing 10 times better than what Drew Brees has done this season. Oh. Just he's elite. give the top performers. There's, He's never going to say not he's elite, elite and no one's going to say he's, he's not. not. elite yet. When Over would he be? Years. When would he be elite? How can he be cons- like, he's, considered he's elite? He's too elite. Because he's like the better than... What is he? 27 quarterbacks in this league? So you're gonna say Nick Foles was elite because what he did of, of last oh. year? You're gonna say he's elite because you're just saying that he's the best quarterback. Now. Nick Foles at the time last year was the best quarterback. Yes or no? Yes or no? No. no? Peyton Manning was. Nick Foles was oh. the best quarterback. Last okay, Peyton Manning's other, but but okay, Tom Nick Brady was doing better than Andrew Luck last year. Where wrong? Nick Foles played. Come on, stop. No. No. Right, I, right, because of How right now. Me? Did they have, did Foles he has to prove whole himself. Year? He did prove himself. Yeah, and no, Foles I'm lost saying, in the playoffs. He has to go to the playoffs. He has to win games. <laughs> and wait, and do who won in the playoffs this year? Foles or Luck? Luck. I don't even know so what there Foles you go. Do. What did Foles do? You know, lost to the Saints. 
Alright, so, and, and, when <laughs> and, 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 okay, and, 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 Nick Foles, leave him alone. No. Did not, did okay. he not play great last year? So people are going to call him elite? No, no one one that was he only one, that was one year. year. That, that was a half year. It was like, no, it was, it was for like 10 games. Okay. It wasn't like four, a little more than half, 10 games. Okay, so half is in the so it's a little more than half. It's, it's two more than half. Look at what Angel Luck done from week one to now. But people were saying, he, he's going to be this, going to be that. And what did he do this year? Nothing. You just got to see how Angel Luck's career goes on. Because he can have a great year now. Next year, he he might not have one. You, you never know. It, it, he's honestly just gonna break. He's just gonna. You just gotta see how his season. How his. He might go next down like go. as one of the best. Yes, he might go play. down. He might go down. No, might. He will. He might go down. Okay, when he really? said he might okay, go down. He's saying he might as one of. Not like you understand what, like the difference is like you could say Joe Flacco might be a Hall of Famer. Like like he's saying he might be the best quarterback ever. You don't say that about someone who's like, eh, who, someone who's been doing like, I don't know, or non-elite. He might be the he might be the best. He might be. He's not there yet. You yeah, can't, it's how? Too, it's too early. Do you, like, but you understand like, too too early. Early, like how that mindset t- just it's doesn't too make early. Like, how can you see what someone did in two and a half years and say, wow, he might be the best ever, but then say, but that's not enough for me to say he's elite. Cause that's it's the too same. Early to it's say the it, though. same it's, material. How can you call someone like elite? It's too early. He hasn't like. Okay, people quarterbacks that are considered elite. Yes, they they break records. They win playoff games. They oh they do good during the regular season and they win Super Bowls. He only won two playoff games. Yes, okay, he won two playoff games. He he's 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 throwing touchdowns. He's he's on pace to stuff, but he's he's just not there yet. Why like he's what, just not there yet? What information? He that you have that says he's not there yet. On the yet. way he's going, if he keeps following what he's doing, then yes, he will be there. So why, does he, but why he's not, not now? There yet. He's why just, not now? He's not there. It, just, it literally seems he's like... He's not there. Like, what right? information Look, leads you to that conclusion? I don't cause, understand. Because he's, 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 he's... The stats, he's not there yet. What? what? His stat the line's stats. like one of the best stat lines. Okay, but he's not there. Like, he's not too... He, he's too early. It's still too early for him. He ha- he's still not. Oh, all I'm saying is what I got from this that... It seems like what Wall said. Tom Brady's the only elite quarterback in your definition. No, he said in three years. In the three years Tom Brady played, he dogged. And won two Super Bowls. That's, come on, that's that's great. That That's unbelievable. And, it was, and like, he played great quarterbacks as well. So. Are you about to say that Andrew Luck's not an illegal great no, quarterback? I'm, I'm saying it's not. I'm <laughs> trying to say that Tom, Tom Brady, it's not like Tom Brady wasn't in, a, you know what I'm saying, at a time where quarterbacks weren't. But. That that's that's crazy. Tom Brady in two in three years wins two Super Angelo's Bowls. Angelo's facing the two best quarterbacks in the league. Angelo like, is one of the best quarterbacks hey, in the if, league. If, 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 if Angelo, uh, this, this no, is not, no, but, in, but um, I I understand. I was just saying that Brady was playing. And Roethlisberger and Rodgers and this is this is this, well, this is, this is just, just look. This is just the last thing because we realistically play, have like two minutes of the show is supposed to end. Hopefully, we get some extra time. I just want to ask you, Joe, if he makes it to the AFC Championship this year. Is that enough, or still no? I it, it, it's gonna add to it. No, no, but, gonna, no, but no, 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 no. No, but I'm, I'm saying, is is that enough? Could you say, okay, you know what? Three years, been to an AFC Championship game, has has numerous playoff wins. I, I'm, the, I'm, the I'm regular gonna, season I'm line is I'm amazing. I'm no because Joe Flacco was in that same situation and he wasn't considered elite. Because no one gives him the credit. No one gives Angelo all the credit. Yeah, yeah it's just the but difference what, of teams. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Did you see that defense Joe Flacco had? It's like it's like it's like. When you compare the two teams, like, they're, they're teams as a team. whole. All right, but Joe Flacco did it. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, he, no one was saying he was elite. I, I, I'm pretty sure he was doing great offensively. Bro, come on, man. Andrew looks elite. Joe Flacco had Ray Rice. He had the ball off him. Check his stats. He went there more than once. That, that defense was crazy good. One of the, one of the best um, linebackers and safeties. Uh, at but that's, that's not getting, like... Andrew Luck is, if he stays on this track right here, he's gonna be elite. That's, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But he's not there yet. Yes, he he is. still has to prove more. He still has to. He's to early to the party. He's early. He's, he's uh, early. Right. He's not, yeah, he's early he's, to the class. He's, he's been early. There he has to keep. He has to keep going. He has no, to that's keep what going. I'm saying. He's he early. Like going he's been it. there. He's. If he stays on track, he's gonna go. He's early to the elite class. He is so elite. It's not even funny. So he has so much eliteness that he can give it to other people. Joe Flacco's stats aren't that good. Oh. 
Okay, guys, we we truly have to move on. <laughs> All right, top performers, <laughs> and with, with with rapid pace. All right, to be position first half. Aaron Rodgers threw six touchdowns with 315 yards. Only eight completions, and he still did all that. That's crazy. Peyton Manning threw a lot, 44 attempts, 31 completions. At 18. Uh, 340 yards. He had five touchdowns but with two picks, but demolished the, the Raiders. Great game for Marshawn Lynch. 21 attempts, 140 yards, four touchdowns. Got him on my fantasy team. You got just four set second, 20 attempts, 112 yards, two touchdowns. I even put Mark Ingram in there. He had 120 yards, but sadly no touchdowns. Uh, wide receiver, they basically did the same thing, honestly. Des Bryant and Jordan Nelson had six catches. Des Bryant had 158 yards. Jordan Nelson had 152 yards. And they both had two touchdowns. So, great <coughs> game to them. Uh, tight end, I put uh, Jared Cook up there. Uh, he's, I think, physically... David didn't pick him up in, in fantasy. Physically, he's a, he's a beast. Physically, he's a monster. He's, that's, uh, the Rams got him for a reason. And, I mean, he had two catches, but 83 yards and one touchdown, which was... His, his uh, long pass touchdown was really nice. The defense of the week, I'm going to go with the Cleveland Browns. 124 to 3 over the Cincinnati Bengals. They had three interceptions, one fumble recovery, and two sacks on Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton only had 30, uh, he had 33 throwing attempts and only completed 10 of his passes. He only threw for 86 yards, and the running game did the same thing 86 yards. That's not good for the Cincinnati uh, Bengals. It was a great day for Cleveland, not so much for Cincinnati. And that was the top performance of the week. Thank you. Aaron Rodgers threw 18 completions, though. That's all I want to say. You said eight. Yeah, you did say oh, eight. Oh, no, 18, 18. No. Sorry. Six touchdowns on eight. Thro- eight well, eight, eight, Imagine. Eight. It's like Andrew oh, Luck numbers. Well, 18, 18, 18 uh, <laughs> completions and six touchdowns. That's still, that's still a lot. <laughs> that's still a lot, though. Uh, I mean, no, no, it's great. I'm not just... as many passes, and he still got six touchdowns. No, he great. dogged the Bears. Dogged them last yeah, night. Yeah, it wasn't even fair. Yeah, Jake Culler looked like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... All right, we we still want to do takeaways. Or we want to get into the preview. Nah, let's go preview. All, All right, right. We'll, we'll go. We'll, you know, we'll go. We'll go preview because we don't want to. Uh, maybe, maybe like the briefest, briefest takeaway. I can tell you mine is I think the 49ers are going to be on the right path to uh, a playoff run. I it's say not, uh, not sure the, ca- <laughs> the Cardinals <laughs> are going to um, lose it. That's funny. How's that funny? They have a tough schedule and then just tough lost schedule their schedule. Tough schedule lost their fifty million dollars. Well, Niners and Seahawks have tough schedules too. Not as tough. Yeah, but they have like quarterbacks. They got Wait, Seahawks. Arizona has to play the Seahawks twice, right? And the 49ers once, and the Rams again, and then it's like the Chiefs. It's like crazy. They don't have an easy game. Yeah. Yeah, they have, they have like the Bucks or something. Yeah, something like that. I thought the 49ers have like the Bucks, the Falcons. Um, do you guys just a, like a very, very brief takeaway? You want to just get to the brief? I don't know if you have. I mean, I kind of said what my grind my gears. Yeah. That was the Steelers and the Jets. I mean, they're two and eight. They're not really doing anything, but the Steelers. No, I, I, don't, I don't get how they can do that as a team. Like, I just don't, I don't, I don't comprehend the offensive thing. Hmm? I don't understand how offensively that happens. Like, yeah, how do you like, one touchdown, 12. I mean, I was watching, I was watching the game. Like, the Jets were messing with Ben Roethlisberger. They were rushing three guys and still getting to him, too. Like, that's also terrible for the, the yeah. offensive line for the Steelers. But. So, once you can't get that run game established. As you, as you, as you saw with, uh, uh, if you watched the game, one of, one of Ben Roethlisberger's picks was he was basically in the pocket all day. He had so much time, but the Jets were, had so many guys out there. He was, he was pointing. And he just threw it up, and there was like five jets around the receiver he was at. So it was kind of tough for him, but still, they had to do something. Yeah. Uh, my take was that the AFC North is the most screwed up division I've ever seen in my life at this point in the season. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly, I'll agree with that. I think if someone could like predict perfectly the AFC North, the outcome, like order and like record. I think they deserve a million do they, dollars. Do, do that's you, like predicting the March Madness. Nah, perfect, nah, nah. Like, you know perfect. what division was more screwed up? Who is it? Right after year, the Saints won it. The uh, NFC um, oh, South. It was the no, it was the West. the West. Yeah. When the team went into the playoffs, seven the, and nine. Marshawn Lynch. Oh, oh yeah, 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 seven and nine. No, yeah, but that's just that's who, honestly. Who do you guys think is gonna win these, that division? All these teams could like win. Which games, one? Like the, the Rams are terrible. The, the, the North. North. Who do you think is gonna win that division? If I had it. Man, I, I'm sticking with the Ravens. I'm just going with Ravens because we looked at their schedule. Yeah, we looked at their schedule, schedule last night. They, have, yeah? they, have, they yeah. play easy teams. They still have like the Jaguars and stuff. Uh, I feel like the Browns play good against Jaguars their division. Jaguars are a great so. team. Hmm? 
Jaguars are good. Team. And on that note, all right. Uh, yeah, Shot we're definitely gonna get into this preview now. Their like um, defense is like really like ranked pretty well. Like their run defense is like top five. I'm yeah. like, what? So, so okay, so preview. Anyway, um, the first game to me that that pops out. Um, actually, you know, I think we should probably. Uh, it's gonna be an important game for both teams. I, I would say lose and they're done. Whichever one loses, Thursday night, Bills Dolphins. Fence. He's just saying that because we were ripping him before. No. <laughs> Calm down. Look at you crying over there. I'm talking to him, not talking to you. <laughs> Calm down. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Even though, I mean, they're at Miami. So, the I mean, it, it, does, it does help Miami a little bit because if they were going back to, to Buffalo, they would get demolished. I, I don't know. The Dolphins are actually really bad against the Bills for whatever no, reason. That's true. Whatever that's reason. True. I not at home. They're really bad against them regardless. That's true. Um... I'll, I don't know. It's gonna be like a close game. I'm not. I'm not gonna be nice to him going Bills. A game that has um a good storyline. The Browns are playing the Texans, and I know everyone's like, "Ah, you love the Texans." I'm just saying, Ryan Mallett is gonna get his first start. You can never say Ryan Fitzpatrick is good again. Why not? Never. He got benched for Ryan Mallett, who's never started a game in his career. So what's the Texans record? <clears throat> Texans are four, four and five. five. I'm going with uh, Texans. I'm going. Wait, is if Aaron Force is playing, then I'm going with Texans. Okay. What a and. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's how I feel. Screw. I'll go with the Browns. Yeah, I'm going with Cleveland because they're home. I like the Browns. But I, mean, I think that's just. I'm just going Cleveland home. Mallet d- did learn from Brady. That's the second time all year I've said the Texans would lose. The other time was when they played the Eagles. Just so everyone else. Difference maker in the game. JJ Watt. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, now this is going to be a great game. Seahawks, Chiefs, Chiefs home. Chiefs. Chiefs. I think the Seahawks need this one desperately, so I'm going to go with the Seahawks. I think the Seahawks actually are about to roll, to be honest. I think they're about to, like, hit, hit, hit yeah, a stride. I'm definitely feeling good after this past week. I think yeah, they're going to hit a stride. Carson Palmer's going down. I think they're going to hit a stride. Um, yeah, Carson Palmer, man. Bengals, Saints in the Dome. Saints in the Saints. Dome. They just Saints. lost in the Dome, though. Yeah, they, they, they just, oh, no, I'm just saying. The Bengals just got destroyed. Yeah. yeah so. By the Browns. By the Browns. I'm going to say Saints because I think the Saints need this one de- in a desperate, desperate way. That looks like a bad game. Yeah. Buccaneers, Redskins, game of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, Gr- Green Bay versus the Eagles. Green wow. Bay, all the way. They're at Lambeau. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're in the time. I'm going Green Bay. I don't know. We have to see how Mark Sanchez plays tonight. To be honest, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going with Philly regardless. But, like, yeah. to me, I think our season, you're going to know well, a lot Mark about, Sanchez, like, what, yeah. how we're going to look after tonight. Yeah. Um, and these last two games here are just absolute amazing games. Um, the 4 o'clock, we got Lions-Cardinals in Arizona. Uh, for I mean, they've already played games without Palmer. But um, the Lions they won have won all their games without Palmer. The I'm Lions. Going with the uh, Lions. Okay, Joe. I'm gonna go with the uh, Cardinals. <laughs> I'll go with the Cardinals. Uh, they were very proven to win without Carson Palmer, and they're they have yeah. great. He's throwing a great receivers, and Ellington's a dual threat. I feel and like the defense is playing. What's the name? Stan. Yeah, he had the worst completion percentage. They still won the two games. He's the worst. <laughs> How long? It's all that? about winning. He did good. I'm, the, he did good. Detroit when he has, came he's in. Secondary. I'm, lo- I'm I'm really looking forward to see Pat Pete against Calvin, but I think considering Pat the Pete. reputation, the reputation, the Lions secondary has right now, and I feel like Cardinals are winning a lot of games because of what they can do with the deep ball. I think the Lions win this one. And then, um, obviously, the game of the week, kind of, kind of an amazing game to have considering the topic we just discussed. We got uh, Tom Brady making a trip to Indianapolis to pay to play Andrew Luck. Colts. Patriots are winning this game if they continue what they're doing because they've been blowing out teams in their in their way lately. They just beat the Broncos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. going with Tom Brady. He's too hot. Best quarterback in the league. Tom Brady's definitely going to win. Uh, and Gronk's kind of a monster day off the middle. I think Andrew Luck's going to win this game. Really? I really think I really think he's gonna win the game. I think I think the bye week isn't gonna help the Patriots. And I, they if, were it hot. Help, if it helps anyone, it's the Patriots with Belichick. I, I just I don't I don't think the bye week's gonna help them and I think playing in Indianapolis I think it is big because if it was in Foxborough it would be a big difference. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I think yeah. But uh yeah, I like I like the Colts. What about if the Steelers lose to the Titans? <laughs> <sighs> Um, possible. I don't know. It's, it's, very, it's really possible, honestly, at this point. I'm going Roethlisberger. Ra- Raiders getting their first win. 
Really? Roethlisberger, how many? Really? Five. Raiders getting their first win against the Chargers? Yeah, wow. divisional game. All right, wait. I want to. All right, Buccaneers, Redskins. I just want to know, just out of curiosity. Redskins. Red, yeah, Redskins. Joe. Bucks. Oh, I fed more. It doesn't. doesn't I, I'll really just hey, wait. You can't really go wrong with what no. either pick. Huh? All right. No, no, honestly, what do you think about the Bears versus the Vikings? Like, do like, you think the Bears have a chance if he's anymore? Back, oh, he's gonna go for like. They have a chance. What? He might be back. He might be playing. Oh, but they, this this game? Game last night, he's not coming back. He can't come back till like December. No, they said he might come back. <clears throat> no, they didn't. Yeah, they did. All right. Well, potential breaking so news: AP could be Why back. Who knows? Why would I Giants, Forty Niners. I don't. I don't want to talk about my game. Forty Niners gonna win that game. In stride. Vikings would welcome Adrian Peterson back. Yo, how crazy yeah, they, would, they would like him back. How crazy would that have been if uh, Jimmy Graham didn't push off and actually caught that? Right. That'd have been, I mean, luckily my fantasy team we already sealed up the week, so I'm happy about oh, that. Well, Who Michael playing? Goodire. Dave, huge win. Huge, huge, huge win for Dev's boys. We, that was a pretty big win. Yeah, P- Petey's lost like four in a row, three in a row. I'm down by 17. Oh, yeah. And you have uh, Benjamin and Greg Olsen tonight. <laughs> That's a loss. I don't know. Eagles secondary is pretty trash. All, Olsen's Cam Newton's pretty trash right now. It's a good point. It's a good point. All right. Wait, part of record, the Mets just signed Michael Kadai. No one cares about the Mets. Let's all right. Pa- part, all right. So that's his part. Any parting words? Just let's look for it. Oh, let's, uh, let's go Iona. I'm with Cleveland State Friday. So Iona, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. That's, Can't that's, wait. Oh, man. I, I just, me. Sunday. The Don herself, Tamika Martinez, <laughs> takes on the court at 2 o'clock. <laughs> That's the game. Let's go Iona, right? Yeah, let's go Iona. Uh, yeah, part of words. Um, yeah, A-Rod's coming back. Not playing hey. third base, but he's going to play DH. Really? And, um, yeah. yeah. Nice. And honestly, my, my final Good thoughts luck. are, Mark Sanchez, my, <sighs> my faith is in your hands. Please don't make me cry. Thank you for staying with us. This has been Roommate Rivalry. Please join us here next week.